Hello everyone, this is Kim Victoria and in today's video I'm going to do a flip through of these journals that I made and I always want to give credit to Treasure Books. Natasha presents such fascinating and wonderful creative ideas and the description down in the description you will find the link to the envelope journal video that she made that got me started with these. So let's, without further ado, so what uh, what I have here, you can see I've got a little wrap around here and we'll go through this. And this is an envelope journal. So just to start right off, I put some, uh, I pasted some paper on top of the sticky part because in case there was ever moisture in the air, we wouldn't want this sticking to our cover. So this cover, I've left this blank so that uh, whoever winds up with this journal will decide what they want written there. And I've used a lot of synthetic leaves. So the theme for this little group of journals had to do with leaves. And this first page here, this cover page, is one of the envelopes. So I have tucked in a little handmade envelope. And what's in here? Well, there's a few little leaves in here so that when you go to create your own pages in this journal, you can add a little bit. So there's a little embellishment there, a little sticker. This is some, um, this was part of the card. The uh, envelopes came with some cards and I got these at a thrift shop and I hadn't used any of them, but I thought these envelopes were just marvelous. They were just so, such lovely paper, really well made and they came with cards. So this is, a napkin that has been applied over the one of these cards and I'll put I'll put the link to Natasha's video on how she does that so I did my own little twist on it and inside we find some various tea dyed papers and other kind of dyeing we have some little punch punch outs here I've created tags for each of these and I'm using a variety of techniques. You will see rubber stamps and little appliques, layers, doing the uh, kind of grunging around the edges. This is some more of that decorative napkin, which of course is in a pocket. And then we have another rubber stamp. And this is cabbage. You can um, take red cabbage and uh, boil it for 10 minutes or so and then let it cool and you can dye your paper. And I don't remember how I got the yellow on there, but I was playing around with all these wonderful dyes. So here again, we have a little pocket, a little punch. And what I've done here is I had these cute little envelopes. So I decided in these journals, that I made. I made uh, five altogether, and so I decided I would add a little envelope, and there's a little uh, kit in there. So I hope you can kind of see that. So there's a couple of tags and some little off cuts from making the journal so that you could make something yourself. And some lined paper that's been kind of dyed. Here's another one of the cards with a little punch. And a rubber stamp and magazine page. There's something pretty. Pasted on another tea dyed. Here we have a little, just a little tea dyed piece of uh, kind of a little cardstock here. So there's a little journaling spot. And I had fun with the rubber stamps. And here's the center, and we have pockets for you to put things. And all of these are hand-stitched 
with embroidery floss. So this is called the um, three hole pamphlet stitch. Okay, and then we go through and there's the other side of everything. So another part of that magazine page, another writing spot and having fun. This is a little corner pocket and it's a flip up. So another little writing spot and I decided I would make these little lined notepads. All right, it fits in there. Let's see. And so there we go. These are little offcuts. So I've included these also for you to play with if you were to have this journal. And you can see the stamps. Here's another little tag paper clipped on. They're very tight. Okay. And another side of that same card. And here we go. There's a little surprise in here. I won't show you what that is. Uh, so this is the other envelope. So there's two envelopes that are meshed in with each other. And then it is the stitching, which you could see here, that is holding the envelopes together and all the pages. And I've added some little bit of yarn. And these are paper beads. Uh, this was this is really fun making paper beads. <laughs> so that there's that. And we have this whole little paper beads and some regular beads to hold it all together. And all of these are really, I once I made the first one, I just went ahead and put together the envelopes that were in the kit. So at least, you know, I did um, five, so I had 10 envelopes. I don't know if I have any more, I'll have to check. Anyway, so these are available in my Etsy shop and that link is down below. And there's just a little teeny bit of variety, but on the most part, these are all very much the same. And I hope you're inspired and maybe wanna make your own journals, but please check out my Etsy shop and if you'd like to buy one of these. And thank you very much for watching.